Hello YouTube, my name is Cara Janelle. Welcome back to my channel. Come on in and soak up some knowledge. 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 What's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Cara Janelle. This is vlog number two on my channel and it's a beautiful day in georgia a hot day and i'm vlogging because i felt like it so here it is welcome to a day in my life welcome to my life all right so you guys haven't seen too many videos from me lately because i've really been going through a lot of spiritual warfare and things of that nature and it has like took the desire away from me right for now. wanting to make any videos or even get <laughs> on YouTube and do anything. So I figured I'll do this fun little vlog or whatever and see if that'll break that break that spirit of me not wanting to make videos or whatever. But anyway, um aside from spiritual warfare, I've been going through warfare with something in this house and it's crazy. Come look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. This thing has been harassing my life, okay? Every time I pass by it, it's literally like silently calling my name for me to get on it. And I said, oh no, I'm good. Okay, so this vlog has turned into a cook with me because I don't have anything special going on and I don't have anything to vlog. But like I said, I just am making this video to kind of get me out of the funk of not wanting to record anything. So we're gonna make chickpea curry. And if you don't know, which you wouldn't know because you probably don't know me, I have been vegan, vegetarian, on and off for three years. So normally like around the winter time, around the holiday I time, care. I'll go back to I eating meat because I know there's gonna be a lot of family care. gatherings and plus it's kind of cold it? here in Georgia. I just wanna know what you said. And what did you other say? than that, I, I just don't care. eat no meat or anything. And this is one of my favorite vegan dishes. Now this is completely, completely vegan, what we're about to make, like 100% vegan. And it's really good. It's really, really good. So. First thing you're gonna wanna do is open your chickpeas, drain them and wash them off. And you're gonna wanna cut up your potatoes and wash them. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right, so this is everything you're gonna need in order to make this chickpea curry. And let me tell you, it's so worth it because it's so good. First of all, you're gonna need chickpeas. You're gonna need two cans of them two cans of chickpeas you're gonna need two potatoes small potatoes if you have a big potato then you just need one an onion you're gonna need some garlic not that whole thing you're gonna need some jalapenos that's optional if you like it really spicy you can use scotch bonnet or you can just subtract it all together you don't necessarily have to have it you're gonna need some diced tomatoes you're gonna need some coconut milk and you're gonna need some curry powder. You will need some other seasonings, but these are the main things you have to have to have in order to make this. Okay, so we wash the chickpeas and cut up the potatoes and I put them in water. Leave them to sit in water while you do everything else so they won't turn brown. And I put salt in the water because it kind of draws out impurities. And to be honest, potatoes can taste really nasty if you don't like purge them of whatever they have in them because you know they grow in dirt. But anyway, now we're going to um, cut this onion up. And it might look a little messy in here. Don't judge me, just mind your business. Let me you do you, and I'ma do me, because it's my business. Okay, so before you guys say it in the comments, I know I look super tall in here, and it's because I'm in the basement, and the basement is like, the ceilings are slower than the rest of the house. I am tall, I'm 5'9" but I'm not like a skyscraper. I know I look tall down here. So I'm just gonna cut this onion up and I guess I'll talk to you guys in the meantime. So like I was saying before, I did vegan on and off for three years and I'm kind of leaning towards off right now. I started doing vegan because I really felt like they were putting stuff in the food. Like I, I just truly believe they're putting hormones, which we know they are, putting hormones in meat and stuff, but I thought it was beyond that before. And um, I just didn't want to eat meat. But now I'm kind of leaning towards eating meat again because I started realizing 
that when you do vegan, if you don't know how to cook or you don't have time to cook, you might as well not even waste your time. Because if you don't have time to cook, you're gonna be eating a lot of quick things, fruits and vegetables, what are good for you, but they don't have any protein in them. So I went through this like phase of not knowing why certain things were happening to my body, not knowing why my nails were breaking off, not knowing why my, my hair was breaking off and stuff like that. And it was because it was a lack of Your edges is gone. And if you don't know how to cook, or you don't have time to cook, like you will lack protein and being vegan. But this dish is actually a really high protein dish because chickpeas have a lot of protein in them. So this is something that if you are vegan or if you just want to try it, is a dish that has a lot of protein in it. A few moments later. All right, so in the pan, I got probably like two tablespoons. Come of for me unless I send for oil. you. You can use olive oil too. And here is my whole onion and one large jalapeno. I'm gonna add that in both at the same time. And then I'll start chopping up the garlic to put in here. Okay, so the onions and stuff is cooking down, the jalapeno and onion. I'm gonna turn it down some cause it's like going too fast. And here's the garlic that I chopped up. I know it looks like a lot, it kinda is. You can use half this amount if you want, but I don't mind garlic. I'm gonna put it in. This is a, that's from the garlic. And that box is there cause I'm standing my phone up on it. So don't judge me. And I'm making some rice to go with it. This is just plain white rice. I already washed it and everything. And another thing I suggest is that I don't trust the water. Is that weird? Someone comment below and let me know if that's weird. I don't trust the water that comes out the faucet. I don't ever suggest anyone drinks it. I don't even suggest that you cook with it. And if you do cook with it, I think you should pre-boil it first and not boil I'm it in with your right food. Now. Cause all those toxins can still be in there. <laughs> but anyway, I boiled some alkaline water and I don't know how much rice that is. I'm just gonna measure it, put about twice as much water as there is rice. And it's already boiling, but we're gonna turn it back on, obviously, so it can cook. Let it come to a boil that way, and I'm gonna add some salt. I'm just making plain white rice. All I put is salt. I don't put no butter or nothing. I know. Alright, so there's the curry powder in there. My mouth is like about to start watering because it smells so good. And mind you, this is my fast breaker, so I'm really excited for it. I'm adding some red pepper flakes, because I like it spicy. And it's not gonna be spicy with the jalapeno because you're putting coconut milk in there, so that's gonna downplay most of the spice. This is garlic powder, and you're probably like, dang, all that garlic powder, you just <laughs> added so much garlic. I don't care, it's my life. Change the subject, I'm gonna walk out. All right, so now we're gonna add the potatoes. Drain them from the water that they were in and pour them in the pot with the chickpeas. What's in here? Okay. You know what really inspired me to make this video, this cooking video? Because it was going to be a vlog. But um, Peach, Miss Peach, Peach McIntyre, if you guys ever watch her videos, she's so entertaining. And she be cooking stuff. I don't know. It's just, just like I love to watch her. Made and it really come inspired back. me to so do this today. So over that, you're going to add some water. Like I said, this is pre-boiled alkaline water. Not too much. You don't want to cover it. I don't really measure it. It's probably about like a half a cup that I just added. Maybe a little more. So now I'm gonna add in some tomatoes. These are just diced tomatoes from Kroger. I'm only gonna put half the container. You don't wanna put this whole thing. This whole thing will be way too much. So if I could give you a measurement, it's probably about half a cup. And that's how much is in there. That's how much went in there. Don't put too much tomatoes because it's not like a tomato based curry. And I can already tell, like, by color wise, it doesn't have enough curry powder. But we're gonna let it cook for a while. And then we'll be back. A few moments later. Alright, 
YouTube, so now it's finished, and this is what it looks like. Oh my god, like. what is that? I have to let it cook for like... Oh my god! What minutes. is that? At least until your potatoes are really soft. And then this is the rice, just plain rice. And now I'm gonna eat. Alright, so we're gonna try it. This is what it looks like with the rice. It was really good. Not spicy enough for me, but really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog slash cooking video. And until next time, bye. Wash me in your blood, purify my soul Filled me with your spirit, and I know it brings division I can be misunderstood as long as I'll have you I owe my life to you Your blood has made me new No Yes, I worship you. Oh, yes, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you.